Anypoint Monitoring provides visibility into your APIs and integrations across your application network and provides the tools to quickly identify and resolve issues through aggregated metrics, data visualization, and alerts. Would you like to use the same tools to measure business impact so as to bridge the gap between business and IT? Would you like to capture custom metrics to enable advanced reporting and gain insight as to how your APIs are delivering business value? Hello. My name is Lakshmi Narayan, and I'm a customer success technical consultant at Mailsoft. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about how AnyPoint Monitoring provides the ability to track custom metrics and build business-facing dashboards so as to communicate the business value of your projects to your various stakeholders. We have a Mule application that receives an account ID in the request queries the database to retrieve details specific to the account ID, and then creates a record in Salesforce for the account object. We would like to capture and send metrics, such as the city and postal code of the account record that was created in Salesforce. This would enable business users to understand and visualize the number of records created for each city on a daily basis. To capture the custom metrics and send the values to any point monitoring, we would need to use the out-of-the-box AnyPoint custom metrics connector. We can search in Exchange for the connector and add it to our new palette. Notice we have the operation to send the custom metrics. Let us look at the flow where the account record is created in Salesforce and add the connector to the flow after the record creation. We can now go ahead and configure the connector. We can specify the metrics name. In this case, I will give it as account matrix. There are two important options that have to be configured. The first one is dimensions. This is the information that you would like to send to any point monitoring. For example, if you see the metadata, we have the account payload that has the city and the postal code. We can go ahead and add the dimensions for the city and postal code and pass the values for the same. I will name my first dimension as building city and pass the value from the account payload. Similarly, let's do the same for the postal code. The next option is fax. Please bear in mind, fax always has to be a numerical value. So for example, it could be the price of a product or the number of users. In this case, we will specify the number. And we'll pass the value as one. Now that we have configured and captured the custom metrics in our flow, we can go ahead and deploy the application. Our Mule application has now been deployed. Please remember to enable any point monitoring while deploying the application. I have tested out the application with different data to create records with different cities and postal codes in Salesforce. Let us now navigate to any point monitoring. Please select your new application and click on View. Notice in the built-in dashboard section, you have a separate section called Custom Metrics to display the custom metrics that is being collected as part of the new application. So you have the dimensions that we had configured in our new application, and you also have the facts displayed in the measurement. You also have the option to do a sum, median count of the information that is collected by the metrics. So this is in the built-in dashboard section. Let us now understand how to create a custom dashboard to use the custom metrics that were captured in our Mule application. So as a first step, I'll go ahead and create a new dashboard. And I'll select the graph widget to be configured. So go ahead, click on configure. And please note, it is important to turn on advanced mode to be able to pull in those custom metrics that we had captured in our Mule application. 
So in the front section, you will have to select custom metric and you will also have to specify the details of the real application, the org ID, the environment ID and the app ID. So in this case, the environment ID and also the app ID. So next, we have to go ahead and select the dimension and the group by set, group by field would list the dimensions that we had configured in our mule application. So I'm going to go ahead and select on billing city. I don't want to fill. And I'm also going to go ahead and select the fact that we had configured. I don't want to do a mean, so I'm going to remove that. And instead, I'm going to do a, a, some aggregation of the metrics. Notice we have the alias by, and uh, let us first uh, not give anything to this alias by and see how the data is being displayed. Now we've done the changes. Let's uh, give a name for our dashboard and click on save. Notice here, uh, the custom metric is being captured and display. The legend says custom metrics underscore sum. And to make this more meaningful, let us go configure it again. And let us give the tag as the billing set. Basically the dimension that we have configured. You can see Columbus city name. And this is the number of requests that was received. So let us go ahead and click on change the time frame. And you can see the various records that were created in the last three hours with their uh, group by their cities. So you have the different cities with the different color codes and the number of requests that was received. This is a way to present the data to your business so that they can understand the number of records that was created based on the city on a day-to-day -day basis. Hopefully this gave you an overview of how to capture custom metrics in your new application and use the metrics in your business facing dashboards to present the data to your stakeholders. Here are some more examples of custom dashboards built using AnyPoint monitoring to capture key metrics and deliver business insights to customers across various industries. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was useful in understanding how to track the impact of your APIs on business performance in real time, create business facing dashboards, and leverage insights to optimize your business and API programs. It is very important as it enables IT and operational teams communicate the business value of their projects to their management chains and also enable business stakeholders understand how their business is performing. Thank you.